It seems I have a visitor. Do come in and uh, close the door behind you. It is a cold night. So, what brings you to my humble hut? Did you hear about me in town? And came to acquire my services. I live out of the way, but the town folk still visit from time to time. I sell tinctures and treatments they cannot get elsewhere. Whatever their own temple healer can't or won't cure brings people knocking on my door instead. I can help with uh, things that require a slightly darker touch. Things the temple don't want to be associated with. I specialize in curses, you see. And I'm telling you that because I can already sense that you have been carrying one for quite some time. Let me take a closer look. There's definitely something there, discreet but persistent. I believe it's a curse of training. Someone is tapping your energy and keeping it for themselves. I bet you have trouble sleeping at night, tossing and turning, dozing off and waking up again, many times each night. You can never get much rest. Does that sound about right? Yes, I thought as much. I can feel it, like a ball of black smoke in the pit of your stomach. It's a sneaky little curse, draining. Most people would not have suspected anything. It's vague enough to not arouse much suspicion. It affects the victim more than one would think. You manage to get through the day's work, but have no energy to enjoy any free time you might have. It wears you down. And takes the joy out of everything. Even the small, simple things you like to do for enjoyment or entertainment. It becomes a chore, too strenuous, because you're just too tired. It turns everything into drudgery. I believe I can cure you, but it does require you to put some trust in me. 
I will make you a potion that draws out the curse overnight, and you must spend the night here, in my hut, so I can keep an eye on you. And of course, none of this is free, provided you brought enough coin. We can get started right away. Ah, here we go. One, two, three, four. Good, good, this will do. It would also help if, if you could put away any moral quandaries you might have about witchcraft. This will be dirty business, I'm afraid. Magic is strong here, in the swamp. It's in the mud, you see. In the mix of earth and water. It's quite potent. That's why I chose to settle all the way out here. Hmm. You have some nasty scratches on your face. The work of the local plant life, no doubt. The path to my hut is narrow and overgrown. And there are plenty of plants that cut, prick, and burn around here. I'll start by cleaning your scratches. We don't want any infections. Then I'll brew you a potion to loosen the curse overnight. And give you a nice mud treatment as well to heal and restore you. Now where did I put the disinfectant? Let's see. Bitterweed extract. Swamp water. Toad innards. Spriggan bark. Ancient mothballs. Ah. Here it is. Disinfectant. And, um, I know I have a clean rag around here somewhere. Move over, Binky. I knew it. Under the cat. I'll just clean your face with fresh water. And dab your scratches gently with the disinfectant. I suppose you inquired at the temple and were rejected before someone whispered in your ear about the witch in the swamps. Hmm. Such narrow-minded people. I came here from the north just a few years back. I found it best to settle well outside of town, but I made my services known. And 
and so my customers sneak away to visit me, often in lieu of the night, and sometimes without their spouse's knowledge. They are driven here by all their hidden wishes and passions, schemes and plots, anything that cannot stand the light of day, a love potion or some such, something to bend the will of another, a curse to be had or removed. A little bit of poison. And I am here to help. should do it. Your scratches are clean and stopped bleeding. It's time to get started on the potion. Let me take a look at the recipe. The measurements are very exact. We cannot afford much deviation. And I think I have all the ingredients on hand. Now get to work, little cauldron of mine. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Boil and boil. Boil and boil, simmer nicely and keep it up until I say stop. Good, that's good. Hmm. Now, first we need this. And 
stir twice and let simmer until green. That's it. Now all we have to do is wait. And that gives us time for the mud treatment. It's the green jar on the shelf right behind you. If you could be so good as to hand it to me. Thank you. This is my best one yet. Quite a thick, granular paste. Does wonders for the skin and relaxes the mind. It's made with toad and toadstool, muck and mud, rot and ruin. Here, have a whiff. Isn't that wonderfully decrepit? It smells of the soil. Contrario contraris curantor, as they say. Sit back and relax. And I'll gently massage it into your face. It takes a while for everything to absorb. I will be careful with your scratches, I promise. I will not hurt you. I'll start with your forehead and massage the pressure points on your brows. And the sides of your nose and your cheekbones from the middle and out to relieve tension and stress. Lastly, I'll massage from your chin and along your jawbone towards the ears. How does it feel so far? Good. This should make your muscles relax and soothe your skin. I'm gonna go down towards your jawline now, to 
to completely relax your jaw and neck. And I'll slowly massage some of the pressure points along your brow. I think that's quite enough. The burns have lost their sting already, haven't they? Much better. And uh, I can see the potion has developed a nice moss green color. Drink it at your leisure, but you have to finish the whole thing. The flavor is sweet and fresh. I think you'll like it. And when you wake up tomorrow, you will feel as right as rain and light as a feather. The curse will have dissipated completely and you will be able to sleep well again from then on. Just relax and let my potions and tinctures do their work. Close your eyes, heavy with sleep. Let go of your day your struggles and troubles, and let yourself slowly drift away.